Well, we have some good news for folks who weren't able to pay their taxes today. The IRS is giving people until midnight tomorrow to get returns filed after part of the agency website crashed today. Now, keep in mind, with all the scams this tax season, it is easy to fall victim to con artists trying to steal your money. Yeah, and this letter that I have here is from the IRS. It's meant to protect consumers from identity theft, but at first glance, a lot of people are really skeptical of this, especially those taxpayers who have dealt with scammers before. We owed a lot of money, and if we didn't send the money to them immediately, that there was going to be a sheriff's deputy coming out to the house to arrest us. It's one of countless IRS scams. The calls even coming from legit phone numbers. It was the Tulsa County Sheriff's Department. I called back and I asked to speak to a deputy, and she said, we don't warn people when we're going to come and arrest them. Emily Smith says she's thankful her skepticism paid off. We dodged that bullet. We didn't give them any money at all. That was last tax season. So when she got this letter this year. Dear taxpayer, we received a federal income tax return form 1040A for the tax year above using your name and social security number. She assumed it was a scam. To protect you from identity theft, we need to verify your identity before we process the return. Tax preparers say this letter is legit and it is from the IRS. There's been an increasing number of scammers that steal social security numbers and file fraud returns to get the refund. Murat CPA says it's an extra layer of security to make sure the money ends up in the right hands. They've stepped up their fraud prevention to try to stop some of the fraudulent refunds. It was frustrating, but it was also nice to know that they weren't going to just send our money to somebody because they said they were us. All right, so keep in mind that the IRS will never call you unless you're in an ongoing audit. And if you're unsure about a letter like that, just call the IRS yourself or call your tax preparer just to be sure.